you have elm trees on your property, you'll want to stick around for the green update. Up next, we'll tell you a better way you can prevent Dutch elm disease. News Watch at 5.30 continues and the doctor is in. The tree doctor, that is. It turns out plants are prone to certain diseases just like animals and people are. We find out more in tonight's Green Update. We're on the road today. We're just outside Lakefield and I'm joined with Matt Logan. And the topic today is Dutch elm disease. Matt, what is Dutch elm disease? Uh, Dutch elm disease is a fungus that actually attacks um, elm trees and it attacks uh, their vascular system, which would, we would call... Um, kind of our, our uh, blood cells, okay. uh, so our veins, mm -hmm. and it plugs them up and that kills the tree off, and it kills them quite quickly, and uh, it's been around since 1930 when it came into Cleveland, Okay. and since that point it's taken uh, approximately 100 million elms out of North America. Oh, well, how is it spread around from tree to tree? Well, there's two different ways it can be done. One is by uh, the elm beetle, mm -hmm. the elm bark beetle, which actually um, a lot of people think that that's what kills the elms, but on top of their back is the fungus, oh, okay. uh, the Dutch elm fungus. And when they transport from tree to tree, they actually transport the disease as well. Now, is this a big problem in the Peterborough Lakefield area? Absolutely. It's any, any area that has elm trees, if you see a dead elm, it's 99% of the time, it's Dutch elm disease. Okay. Now, as a homeowner, what are some of the signs we should be looking out for if we're, if we're worried about the condition of our trees? Um, some of the first signs are uh, dieback of the tips of the branches. Okay. Uh, what we call flagging, which is where there's dead leaves on branches that stay there and they're brown and crispy and they just won't fall off. Uh, also, when bark starts to shed uh, up in the upper canopy, those are some signs. Later on, signs is when the bark comes off completely, and you can actually see the galleries or the trail in which the beetles take. Okay. Now, once a tree has Dutch elm disease, is there anything we can do at all to stop it? Well, in some cases, there's ways of uh, pruning the infected branches out, mm -hmm. but very rarely is there um, a lot of ways to stop uh, Dutch elm disease when it has already infected the tree. Okay, but there is a way to prevent it and you're one of the few guys in the area that can actually do this. Tell me about that. Uh, what we have is it's a, a vaccination. Okay. Uh, it's basically a flu shot for your trees. Mm -hmm. and it's called Dutch trig. It's been uh, used in Europe since 92 and the States since 96 and it works the exact same way as a flu shot works for us. We get the shot, it builds up our immunity, okay. our immune system, and we're more resistant. So how do we actually get this into the trees? Well, what we use is an injector mm -hmm. uh, where we actually uh, inject the vaccination just underneath the bark so it gets sucked up into the vascular system of the tree. Now, is this something we have to repeat every so often or Absolutely. once good? Yep. It's uh, just like... Uh, uh, just like a vaccination or a flu shot, it needs to be done year after year because every year that tree puts on one more ring of growth and that ring of growth needs to be vaccinated. So where can people go to find out more information, Matt? Well, they can call us uh, and or they can uh, visit our website at www.arboriculturesolutions.org. All right, sounds good. Thanks for talking to me today, Matt. You're welcome. And we'll see you again next week on The Green Update. Green Update is brought to you by Shifting Gears Peterborough. Enjoy the big picture. Get to work differently. If you have any questions about today's episode of the Green Update, call Peterborough Green Up at 745-3238.